Good morning, everybody. I'm taking the SAT today, and it's so early. <laughs> it's 7.24, which is like, I don't even wake up for school that early, so. And I guess, like, subconsciously, I was actually nervous for this SAT because I've never had more vivid dreams in my life that just, like, kept on coming, you know? Look at that. They're so swollen. So, am I nervous? Not really. Thank you. I totally just drove to the middle school first and was so confused and then realized it was the middle school, not the high school. Now I'm here and I just remembered how much I hate high schoolers and how much they scare me. So this is gonna be so fun. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Spread the rest on new chain. My big love do cocaine. I just took the test. I was there since 7.45 and now it is 1.30. That is just mind blowing to me. How do they make kids sit in a room and test for that long? Right off the bat, I was just not having it. First thing they say is like, Hi, congratulations on taking your first step towards college. This test will uh, show colleges if you're ready for college. And it's just like, no it doesn't. Really, you think that test will <laughs> accurately represent if I'm ready for college or not? No! So I'm taking the test and I feel like it's gonna be so easy because it starts you off with reading and it was like unbelievably easy, like obvious answers pretty much. She was like, you have 30 minutes left. And I was like, oh shoot, I still have like three columns of things to answer. And then the second part is the writing part. And usually I like speed through everything just by habit. But this time everyone was done before me and I was using up my time to like the very last second and I didn't even have enough time to complete the writing section. I just like guessed for the last couple few. And then I think the hardest part in my opinion was the math section with no calculator. Definitely didn't know how to do like any of the free response questions which there was like four of those so that's great. The math with the calculator was better but I still just like I don't remember simple stuff like graphing and like they kept asking the same math problem over and over again and I just consistently had no idea what it was talking about. So that was terrible. This is why I always do bad on these tests is like the math section. And then when you're already tired enough and you've been testing for like four hours, they make you read an entire passage and write an essay about it. So yeah. You guys, I just experienced the weirdest thing. So I got home, right? And I start editing my video. And then I finish editing my video. And then I had no plans and no work. And I felt the, f the feeling of boredom. I haven't felt that in months, years. <laughs> wow. So I decided to kick that in the butt. And I made plans with Madison to go get my nails done. Honestly, I want to get my toes done. But I don't know if they'll let us sit together if we get that done. So <laughs> what a feeling. You guys, I have a conspiracy theory. Now, I've been holding back on this because I, you know, conspiracy theories can really get you in trouble sometimes. And I try to be the most wholesome me I can possibly be on the internet. But I just can't take it. I need the world to know. <sighs> Practically every day, I go to Chick-fil-A and I get a medium fries and a small Coke and their Chick-fil-A sauce and it's so addicting. And I'm just like, man, there's something about this. It's like so addictive, it's like, it's like, it's like cocaine. That's right. For weeks on end, I've been so addicted to Chick-fil-A. And what could it possibly be? Chick-fil-A sauce has tiny microbes of strands of cocaine laced within it that makes all these American customers addicted to it. It's the only logical explanation. So yeah, if you agree, comment down below uh, or comment your conspiracy theory because that's the best one I've ever come up with. Don't sue me, Chick-fil-A. And also don't do drugs, kids. Let's see them. Got my nails done. I love them. Oh, you be so kind as to fall in love with me. You see, I'm trying. I know you know that I like you, but that's not enough.